Hi, my name is David Edozi, I'll just read instructor on my this video I want to show you how you can, you can use a cloud as the former by using a script set in Proto.0. So I want to show you immediately. For example, I want to create a, a cube, but Z middle mouse button create a cube. Uh, Shift Alt and Z for center it. And uh, I want to add some subdivision. So I want some smooth. So Z left mouse button smooth. Give uh, some smoothing. Not too much. Alright. Now what I want to do is create a um, joint, so press 4 for having wireframe mode, so Z middle mouse button rigging, okay, joint, X on my keyboard for snap it to the, to the center of the grid, to the grid point, so press e enter for, uh, for create the joint here, now I want to select my joint, shift that my geometry, press Z for bind scheme. So now if I press 5, I can move in my joint and of course by using skinning I can move my vertex on the, on the objects. So now I want to make some little bit of animation, so I want to press S here, go to frame uh, 20, go here, press S again, to 14, go here, press S again, and now I want to uh, reset my animation by uh, returning to the first position, so press moving my time with the middle mouse button for freeze it and press S here. And I want to uh, give a little bit of loop by go to frame 59, as the last one. So I press 10, and I press play, and as you can see now I have my animations. So I want to add some jiggling to is animation, some movement, some secondary movement, and I want to use and cloth for do that. So Z left mouse button on the mesh, and uh, here I want to create some uh, dynamics. Uh, um, sorry, um, deformers. Go under end cloth as the former, and from here I want to create end cloth as the former. So if I come back here and press a play again, nothing really changed, but now there is uh, there is a little bit of deformation here if you see of course now uh, what I can do is uh, select my object and um, go inside of the attribute editor and change to keep the, some parameters but I want to do something more differences so what happening really in uh, the in the background so if you go with my uh, my outliner now I have the three elements as for, sorry, four elements. So the first one is the joints, the second one is input tract, and, and the third one is uh, the rest, and the third, uh, and the last one, the fourth one, is the real, uh, is, the, is the, the visible mesh. So what happening? Happening that uh, this object try to match this rest position, so you can change the rest position, so what is this element? If press H for show, this is the uh, the mesh than uh, the simulation try to match when there is uh, some moving in or some 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 uh, uh, simulation inside of, uh, of unclots and uh, this mesh is uh, one of uh, attract so actually this is the the skin of the mesh and uh, is uh, this the mesh that uh, the, this object is uh, attract so uh, this mesh is and really is an is an cloud mesh and is attracted from the, this vertex of the cloud are attracted by these elements here. So H you can see here. Right. Um, what happening? Happening that uh, there is a strength. So actually there is a total strength. So um, the vertex are totally attract from this element by using. Uh, uh by using these uh, properties here inside of enclosed shape node. Um, what I want to do now is uh, reset my animation and change some elements. So Z, left mouse button, go under the formers, enclosed as the former, sorry, formers, enclosed as the former, and I want to paint and cloud input track. What's happening? As you can see now, every vertex are 100% attracted from the, the attract mesh. But if I change, for example, I want to replace, give some zero value here, and zero value here. Now, what's happening? The black 
the black faces or the black point, the, the black vertex in this case, are now not totally extracted from the from the starting mesh. So this is a, a pure end clot points. So these points are more um, more um, dynamic uh, to the to the white ones. So I want to give a little bit more, a little bit flow than Q. All right. Now I show I want to show you this animation. As you can see now, the the points that are not uh, attracted by attracting mesh are a lot more uh, free to moving and uh, are a lot more uh, related to the to the end cloud deformations. So this is a very good way to, for example, simulate a muscle. I want to show you another way to use this, these techniques. So, if I create uh, a cube, uh, Z in the mouse button go to Nord, I want to create a cube. I want to add some uh, um, some width vision. Yes, this is uh, what I want to do, and I want to give some smooth. Alright, something like that. And now, what I want to do is uh, delete history, free transformation, control, enter, shift alt z for centering in the middle of the machine. Alright, now, if I create some joints, see in the mouse button, create joints, one joint here, one joint here, another one here. Alright, four for view the uh, the wireframe mode, so select the first joint, select the skin and the press Z for bind skin. So what happening now? If my my if I bend my my my, my arm, so I want some late arm or something like that, as you can see there is interpenetration here. So if I want to make some animation, for example, press S here, I've got the frame sixteen and I want to to bend it in this way. Alright, so is enough. Press 5 to view in the shade mode. As you can see now my simulation do not uh, there is no simulation so there is only this skin level. So now select my objects uh, press Z and go to another time the former and cut as the former create and cut as the former. Alright now what happening is uh, there is another level, another layer. Oh, right, great. So you can see when the this button penetrate each other, there is some uh, some movements. But if I press four, select my nucleus node and increase the precision. So Z left mouse button, uh, I want to use precision, medium precision, I think so is enough. And uh, press play again. As you can see now, there is no more interpenetration because uh, the end clock try to uh, avoid uh, this one. Of course it is working only in animation because uh, uh, actually I'm using a, a dynamic node, so if I, m if I move uh, in this way, as I can see, there is only the there is only the original simulations, so original skin mode. But if I play, now you have uh, very interesting, uh, uh, very interesting self -colli collision, and and then it's very fast, uh, fast way to have uh, self collision, but very fast. <laughs> of course, you can uh, change some elements of your simulation. For example, if I go to and cross shape and I want to increase the pressure or I want to change my stretch resistance, compression resistance, bend resistance so now the simulation is a little bit different you can see there is more resistance on all, all the all, on all the structures so now all the structure is, is pushed away and uh, Found very interesting on the skin and character. Alright, uh, I hope you find this video useful and bye.